Hey everybody, X Joe Eighty One X. So, a little bit of the aftermath. Now that a day has gone by, it's cleaned up. You're showered. You're hydrated. I just want to show you the aftermath. So, in conclusion, what happened was, on a Friday night, this load, this machine was being used. Whatever happened, the selector switch was in the middle. And, according to JK18, this is a big deal. And if it's not clicked in a certain position, I guess the machine doesn't know what positions it, it is in. So the China Matronics, which is really not a lot, says, uh-oh, let's overflow, let's do this, let's do that. So in a nutshell, these both machines were moved over two or three inches. The shell was removed, the tubs were looked at, which are pretty clean. This entire dryer was pulled out to around here and it was vacuumed out. The tube was vacuumed out. I didn't clean this one. It just moved over enough to make this scenario as symmetrical as possible. Uh, so there's a couple of other things. I was gonna put all these machines on uh, two by fours, which would have been two, four, six, eight, but I think that's irrelevant. What's the point of putting them on two by fours? They do sell stands. They're about twenty to thirty dollars a piece. That's a little bit excessive. Then there's ones that are twenty that go right here and right here and makes the unit slide out. I could understand the unit sliding out, but if you got to get to these two units that has to go left three inches and that has to go right three inches so i'm over it they're chooching right now they've been ran off camera a couple of times so i'm just whatever so anyway pretty much to look around nothing to look at we lost all the rugs i'm not gonna hose them off and then clean them they're just wet they're dirty they're filled with soapy water. You'll never get them 100% clean. So we'll get one for here and here. All the floors were wiped down the best we can. The corner was put back. Ba -ba -ba. We lost the rug coming into here. Again, no big deal. The humidifier went back. I lost my workbench rug. No big deal. And unfortunately, I lost a couple of things because the water went this way. Anything that had to do with cardboard, I threw out. Um, there is some remnants of water right here. I'm assuming there's water under the tile. Maybe just, just naturally. It's okay, this yellowed a little bit. Again, it's concrete, it's a basement. The computer's up and running and fine. They were, they were, no problem, the water had actually never made it past here it went a little bit under the treadmill once again I put some of the stuff back yesterday the workbench obviously whatever it's really uh, this back corner we're waiting for a rug storage kind of just made its way right here for now you could see that the tile it's still wet moist whatever the word you want to use it doesn't affect anything. There's no leaks. Nothing active. Uh, this corner is... Uh, we're just chilling. Because the drum set goes on a rug. And the drum set sits in the corner. And then all the totes and everything sit like right here with all the clothes. Whatever. Uh, I had to, uh, I moved out the refrigerator, clean behind there. I had to, uh, oh, off camera, this case switched 
with this machine. This machine and this dryer are original to when I purchased a house and they probably were purchased brand new in the 90s. Fortunately, the back right of this case is all rusted. And in the back of these units, there's a little pin the size of your pinky, piece of metal that's stamped out and kind of like does this. Well, the cover sits, has a slot and it, if you can, it sits like that and it stops the back corners from wobbling out. That's what holds the machine. Well, I struggled enough with this case. It's three sides, one, two, three, and the top lid, everything's the same. I just swapped it out. It's the same machine. The only thing this machine is missing is a rinse option and the knobs are yellow. 80 series, it has, this is the original uh, model for that. What, what What's changed? Okay, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Large load. And I think large load, small. Right, one, two, three, so, uh, you know, maybe the medium load. Water temp is four, hot, hot. And on this one is four plus. Auto temperature control I don't use. Rinse option is one, and the speeds. Does it have speeds? Five speeds, five speeds, and soak, pre-wash, ultra clean, it's the same. So this is like I told you, this is the donor machine that I got. So the motor was swapped out for one of them because of the shaft was rounded. This is the old casing in the top. So, uh, hey, whatever. That's the basement. It's probably gonna. If I remember to make a video when everything is back, I'll let you know. Maybe you care, maybe you don't. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Wow. We're just gonna play. We're gonna clean up. I got some things to do. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is the aftermath of a little bit of a hiccup. Water is all gone. Things are all back. And it's just. A regular basement now we're doing some laundry for all of you twatties oh she she ka ka she she ka ka we're uh, at the rinse cycle of this machine and i started this so this oh sudsy wudsy pussy cookie all right hit like hit subscribe and don't flood your basement